breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Finally, CJN Olukayode speaks after Chicago University disowned Tinubu's certificate. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Arowolo, on Wednesday triggered the reaction of many Nigerians just after the Chicago State University disowned the academic certificate of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as well as the stamp and other items on the certificate. The CJN, who spoke at the Supreme Court in Abuja while inaugurating another badge of 23 judges of the Federal High Court of Nigeria, clarified that public opinion, no matter how serious or weighty it might be, cannot overrule the Constitution of Nigeria. Why many believe that the CJN was speaking in reaction to the call for Tinubu's resignation, some posted that it was a message passed to the president's critics. Olukayo well, did therefore charge the judges in the country to always apply constitutional provision in deciding each case that may be assigned to them, noting that several vehicle attacks are regularly heaped on the judiciary, but that it is critical and it's important that the public opinion, no matter how serious, cannot overrule the rule of law and what the constitution says. According to the Daily Post, the CJN further explained that judiciary officers still owe their conscience and the generality of Nigerian masses, particularly those who are looking up to them, the great responsibility of good moral and acceptable conduct to uphold the consolidated and consolidate and consolidate the trust responsible to them. Meanwhile, yesterday the Chicago State University testified under oath that the Nigerian president presented a forged degree certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in the build-up to the presidential election. According to People Glazia, the official represented by Mr. Tinubus, who replicated on Tinubus' certificate, the only academic qualification he presented to INEC came as a disposition of school office on Tuesday in Chicago. So this is what is happening. Um, Justice Olukayode has sent out a serious word and it's up to everybody to put an interpretation to what Justice Olukayode has said already. In fact, he spoke above and beyond. He spoke a lot of things, you know, saying that uh, this, this, it, it, I mean, everybody is really sincerely, truly shocked by the way these people are going about things. You know, he said, you know, no matter what people are saying, the most important thing is that it is what the constitution says that matter. You know, it doesn't matter if anybody says one person did this or he did that. It's what the constitution says. So a lot of people have interpreted that in a different, in, in so many ways. A lot of, uh, you know, reactions have come in response to what he has said. So a lot of people feel that, you know, this man is speaking in terms of, you know, trying to uh, maybe support Tinubu or whatever he means by what he's saying. It did not quite go down well with a lot of people. A lot of people feel that, you know, he's being partial, he's not being honest, you know. And um, if you know Nigeria very well, for me, I can give you the, I can give you already, personally, what will happen at Supreme Court. But I will not want to preempt it, but I know the answer. Okay, I know the answer. For them, for instance, even, no matter, even when they see the, the, this, this board, that the board is actually a black board, Sweeter, they will tell you, you are the, it's, it is your mind, it is the way you're thinking about it, it is not a blackboard. That's how bad things are, you know. So we just, we just, we, want, we really want to see what the Supreme Court will say at this point in time. What they've really got to see, we need to see it. We need to see how, you know, they are going to go about, you know, uh, uh, explaining to the Nigerian people, okay, things that have gone on and, you know, what's happening and how we can truly sincerely Okay, come into a, a place where truth can be manifested. We want to see because it, it's, it's a long time coming. A lot of things have gone on and where we are expecting to get justice, to get them, you know, reflect the ethos of, you know, of honesty. 
the judiciary is supposed to be a place where people can go to and feel safe and know that they are protected and know that you know they can they can they can voice out without you know being being uh, what will i say now being an object or one that becomes the enemy you can express yourself you can speak you know and when you go for a solution you can, your matter can be looked upon and you could get some ventilation you know on matters that had to do with the law judiciary is supposed to be you know not non partial it's supposed to be you know it's supposed to be very very independent to the extent that they are able to speak without you know without um, getting you know thinking about what the executive will say but sweetheart i'm sorry to say that we don't have that it feels very strongly that our leaders they've they've looked they've connived and they look for a successful and a very good way to ensure that they are the ones in charge irrespective of what any other person think or feel that they hold the key and everything that holds together you know so they, they, they have made sure of that okay so these are some of the things that are going on and every single person can see that if we want nigeria to truly change we want things to be better everybody will have to honestly sincerely okay rise up speak out and we must take our position and we must take things very seriously without an iota of doubt we should be able to speak and not feel compared or feel threatened you see so these are some of the things that are going on look how they have spoken but nigerians are not very happy with how far things have gone no not very happy not very happy so you see this is part of what is you know is going on today so leave us a comment, you know, let's hear your thought on some of this issue. Let's know what you think so that together we can really make a lot of difference and we can make this nation a better place. Every single one of us should know that Nigeria belongs to us and whatever we do, whatever we do and however we go about it is going to not only affect us, it will affect the nation. You know, people are taking decisions without truly considering, you know, generations yet unborn. We can't do that. You can't do that. We can't. We must truly consider and know that it, it is beyond me. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.